morning and welcome to Blue Decousty Techs. We're back at it again today. Chris is with me today with his Knox 800 and I'll be on the dais. See you on the first find. So that's my first find. All you ladies out there will know what this is. It's for knitting. It's a knitting needle. Um, yeah, I think it's for doing like circular things, socks and necks. I'm not a knitter, but I do know it's for knitting. It's not a stylus as you might think, but yeah. Knitting socks. I'm in a really trashy area at the moment, so the fact that I found this has pleased me because uh, I managed to winkle it out amongst all the trash that's around. So it's part of a buckle. Again, a bit unsure about this one. I can't work out whether it's a button or a coin. It's very thin. Sorry about the lighting. There's no, no sun today. It's very warm. <coughs> yeah, I think... I think it's, I think it's a coin. We'll have a look later. No question about this one. <laughs> definitely a coin i've just moved away from the trashy area because i think someone's had a bonfire there so yeah 1920 george v brilliant yet again silver in the hole it took me a while to identify this one but i eventually did it it's a horse's neck you see the mane there and this will be a, a reins. Yeah, horse's neck. Weather update. It's a lovely day. Um, it's overcast, but it's warm. It's no wind. Um, just ideal for me, but I've just noticed that there is some snow up there on those hills. I don't know if you can see that or not. Whoops. Yeah, ideal conditions today. Perfect. Next up is a flattened squared nail. Gave me the run around because uh, you get your mindset into looking for round things and this was in amongst the stubble. I couldn't find it. We got there eventually. It's another little coin for the pot. Again not seeing anything on it but I don't see a shank so in my eyes that's a coin so we've been stopped for a brew and um, Chris has shown me this buckle how nice is that what a shame it wasn't a full one it's better than the one I found earlier and this is another one of Chris's finds as well Neither of us know what it is, but uh, yeah, another one of Chrissy's finds. Off back out now for a couple of hours. Let's see how we get on this afternoon. Now that is a tiny lead shot. This is interesting. Chris has just brought this up. We can't see all of it, but we can see perfect attendance during year and inscribed 1899 we'll have to get that cleaned up see what else it says on it brilliant find not much to see on the other side we didn't rub it too much in case we rub some of it off but yeah best find today first clog clasp today didn't have one on tuesday but usually get one every time I come out. Okay we're done I've kept it short today because um, I keep running out of space on my phone which is an ongoing thing that I need to sort out. Um, Chris is bringing up the rear I thought he was here. I'm just going to show you a t-shirt that I ordered with my name on. It's embroidered on it's not just uh, put on anyhow it's embroidered and then a patch there that says Metal Detecting UK Uncovering History. Um, very well made t-shirts. Uh, bought mine from Metal Detecting Wear, I think it's called. Or 
detecting wear. I'll put it at the bottom where I had it. But yeah, very good quality t-shirts. And I say it's embroidered on. It has been in the wash and the black hasn't washed into the white lettering. So yeah, I recommend them. Very good. Okay, right. Um, where are we? Thursday. I'll probably be out tomorrow. Um, and again on my own, I think. Okay, thank you for watching, subscribing. See you on the next.